Well, boys and girls, LB7 got what it needed. Whopping 12.4 volts, baby. That's good stuff. Guess it'll be interesting to see if it keeps going down, but uh, finally got what she deserved. And that's a set of red top batteries. Oh, yeah. What more could you ask for? That's just my relay freaking out for the dome light, since I did my fancy mod. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's the stuff. Just whipped out the old batteries. Got one there, one here. It says 12 to 17. It's a super shart, you know, because they're shitty. Super shart. This one's a one of 18. So I guess I got them in 2018. So they're not that old. But I came out this morning and uh, went to start the truck and it, uh, it had 11.8 volts listed there. Well, that's not all that great. That's, you know, and that's after running the truck and I get out and I pretty much look at it every time. You know, it'll say 12.2 volts. Well, literally, or 12.3, but as soon as you shut, start, shut the truck off, obviously the battery is going to go down and, uh, but it should stay above 12 volts, I think. I'm pretty damn sure it's supposed to stay above 12 volts. The only thing that runs in here is the clock. And you're going to tell me that that clock sucks up, you know, half a volt or more? I don't think so. Uh, especially in 12 hours time? I don't think so. But anyway, so... Yes, I know. Everybody's probably like, well, all that wiring you got, you probably got a voltage draw, blah, blah, blah. Well, how about this? Those batteries have been a piece of shit for the last four years I've had them. Literally, I put them in the truck. The truck fired up like brand new. And within three days, it was back to starting like I had old batteries in there. And I've taken them back to O'Reilly's. I don't know how many times. Five, six times and had them retest the batteries. Oh, yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good. The stupid thing doesn't know what it's talking about. They're a piece of shit. I put the load tester on there, the one we've got. And it comes out poor shit voltage. I did swap the airbag module to try and get rid of my airbag light. Still got an airbag light, so I don't know if it's just residual code. I kind of doubt it. Can't find my scan tool at the moment, so I can't figure out what's going on. I had the seat out, obviously. That uh, It's the rollover sensor. It's underneath the driver's seat. Um, I ordered a new switch. Found out that the one I ordered or had in here previously, had ordered, uh, was a 5-amp switch. And that's probably not enough. I do not have it fused. Then uh, I found a 10 amp switch that is the same style. So hopefully it's the same color light too, because you know, the picture didn't show it a little, a little bit darker. But uh, for the moment, she cranks up a whole lot better. I think maybe at some point I'll get a new starter for this thing, because I one day I did fire it up and it grinded. And it started grinding on me, so that was fantastic. That's just going to be the beginning. As you can see, looks like my AC compressor starting to leak. So that'll be another, a whole nother expense. Um, I don't know if the AC works right now or not. I think it does a little bit. Um, the AC's just been kind of lackluster in this truck for a, for a while, a long while. Um, and to be honest, I guarantee every component in this air conditioning system is 20 years old. So it's going to be fun trying to... Uh, we're going to replace the condenser, we're going to replace the AC compressor and the dryer and maybe the air orifice tube too, I don't know, and just have it completely re-gone through, redone. Now, the problem was on the LBZ is that they quit making that style of dryer, so I had to get the new style and then I had to get the new style hose to go on the dryer. That was interesting. 
So hopefully they still make that one. I don't know why they ever quit making shit for trucks that are in plethora around the world. So, you know, GM needs to dig their head out of their ass and keep making parts for these things. Because these trucks aren't going away anytime soon. At least they better not be. And if they are, no one's going to quit driving them because everybody's going to have enough of this governmental shit. So, uh, EPA ain't touching my truck, okay? It's pre-emissions everything. Um, so didn't have, never came with a cat or oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, take that back. It never came with an EGR valve and it never came with PCD system other than a factory catch can. So this truck's pre emissions pretty well everything. And, uh, I got it. My exhaust is intact to put it that way. Um, let's see. And this one came with EGR valve and PCV system and whatever. But, uh, not that we're going to get into that. Not that trucks need that just plugs up your it just destroys your engine i mean shouldn't need that shit on these things you got good tuning you never it gets better fuel economy than it did factory it breathes a hell of a lot better than it did factory and it's probably got a lot less carbs than factory because of good tuning the thing runs like an absolute dream put factory tuning on it things garbage i mean the lb7 is a freaking dog oh i told it my lb7 stock it's just a beast <laughs> have you towed with an l5p are you kidding me an L l5p will out tow your lb7 a hundred million fold i don't like towing with the lb7 unless it's on stage five goes for same goes for the lbz i don't like towing with the lbz unless it's on stage four or five stock forget about it my gosh and a built trans behind it i think you could tow a freaking mountain but stock forget about it <laughs> so what i was gonna do was grab the uh got freaking welding wiring laying on the ground here trying to trip me got another super sharp battery from crap riley uh it's just junk we're trying to get rid of here so don't bitch and complain about the mess because the whole place is getting cleaned out it's just taking forever to do it every nut bolt and screw at a time okay come on let me get it oh well. now i'm pretty sure i've had these off before yep see real time what voltage we're running but this is the battery tester dad got off of amazon i think so results may vary Oops. get up here get up here can't see okay so it says 13 volts that's a freaking lie i can tell you that right now they were at uh 12.2 when i pulled them out um but well, let's hold her down and see what happens. I think it's what five, no longer than ten seconds. This is a 850 cold crank. Doesn't say what it is regular crank, so we'll see. Of course, I'm trying to get rid of the glare here. All righty. Well. Yes, it does show about 850, but it's showing 13 volts. That's a crack of shit. I don't care who you are. And maybe this battery's the good battery. Maybe the other one's the one dragging it down. That could very well be. Now I'm telling you, every time I shut the truck off, the voltage would start dropping. Bing, 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 point, 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 whatever. Do not want to drop the bat at this thing, so do not drop on it. So that shows 13 too. So obviously results are kind of shitty. Um I'm trying to find my soldering kit because that has my multimeter and it's buried back here. One day I'll go through my soldering kit with you just so you can see what all's in that, but got quite the kit because I do quite a bit of soldering these days oh, okay. Man, just a generic multimeter but I've had this for quite a few years and seems to be doing okay <clears throat> 
see if I can cram this in here maybe. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try and cram the probe in with the jaw of the battery tester so I can see right along with the tester what what uh, voltage we've got and whatnot. So it says 12.4. I just don't believe it. You're lying to me. So I'm going to hit the thing. I'll let you know what crank we're, which are about 8, 850 ish, 11 volts. What a crock of shit. You know what? Maybe my starter is no good. Maybe my starter is over amping. I don't know. That says they're good. But, you know, I've... It's going to make a liar out of me because it's on camera. I'm telling you, I've used the same exact tester on these batteries after running the truck, blah, 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 and it's shown shit, you know, it goes down into the yellow in the week. And that's right when I went to O'Reilly's and I just said my battery tester showed these batteries were weak. 12.3, 12.4. The other one would already be at 11.9. I mean, it doesn't, didn't take long at all. So 12.3, 12.4, we're already sitting at an immaculate voltage. But uh, I freaking had a problem with the welder. Freaking wire broke. That's a whole other issue. Um, so yeah, I'm telling you, I've disconnected the battery, and then I'd load test that battery that's disconnected. And it would come out weak or... You know where it's supposed to be because it's stepped where it's supposed to be above 850 it'd go down into the six category part of the week so anyway one of these is going to go on the forklift because uh i'm pretty sure the battery in that is a lot weaker than this those batteries are ancient history and i don't even know if they've got a date on them or not go take a look quick and the way that cranks over it's like rrr, 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 and it's I don't think I've ever heard it crank faster than that, but this battery is out of my, my 06 Sierra. That was the parts truck then at that point, pretty much. Oops, too much shit in here. It's supposed to be 925, pretty damn good. Durst. I think I had a date written on this somewhere, yeah, 11 of 15. So it's six years old, and it's when I bought my 06 Sierra, the battery in that was 100% dead. And I charged them up, and they came back to life. They, they worked for two, three years ish. And then in the wintertime, they started giving me some hassle. So I was like, okay, it's time for you guys to go. So that's when I put. I think at that point, those batteries got swapped over to this truck since my 06 was the parts truck. Everything went in this, engine transmission, blah, 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 batteries. And then it was giving me some grief in this come winter time because this is the winter truck. So I slapped some red tops in it and haven't had a problem since. Grabbed the best battery out of the two, slapped it in the forklift because that had a really old battery. And I'm talking like a 15-year-old battery. That sucker was old. And it was always, I mean, the thing would start the forklift, but I mean, it, the forklift before I got here sat for so long of a period of time. And I'm talking, it'd sit for a year, year and a half between getting started and it would never get charged up, nothing like that. So you'd always have to trickle charge it back up, fire the thing up, do what you got to do, shut it off, let it sit for another year, year and a half or more. So it, it was always sitting and the battery just ended up taking a... It didn't really, it was still starting the thing, but it was like, okay, we need a newer battery in that sucker. So, and that battery was working pretty good, but I just don't think it's got the capacity anymore. And I converted it over to side post because that's primarily what I have, have owning GMs, which I don't have a problem with side post batteries. You have to be very observant when you're screwing in the terminals that they aren't crooked. And I guarantee a lot of people don't do that. They strip them out. No, oh, they stop my side post battery. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? I haven't had issues with side post terminals corroding in all my vehicles I've owned of GM. And 
whatever I've converted over to side post, I have never had a problem with them corroding. But the top post, those corrode like freaking no tomorrow. So, whatever. Each is on. But I, I don't mind side post batteries. They're just a little bit nicer, cleaner looking, I guess, for me. I like them. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah. And uh, the terminals on the forklift needed to be re redone anyway. They were pretty chintzy, so... And with the battery I had, I didn't have a top post, so it was like, well, there it's getting a side post. That's because it did have a top post originally on it, but uh, anything can be converted. So, alrighty. I'm going to slap a battery in the forklift and see how well she does. So, hopefully they do pretty good in there. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Figured I'd show you quick how slow this thing does crank. Which I guess doesn't sound too bad, so. Well, let's see how much it faster it cranks with the new battery. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't make me look like a fool for swapping the battery. Hopefully it cranks a lot faster. Not really. <laughs> and it's not, it's just, doesn't have any fuel in the line, that's why it's not firing up. You'd hear it as it turned on, it's... It's got a leak somewhere, but... It usually always fires up, so... Gotta get a bolt gauge on here, I've got it sitting around here somewhere. Pad it sitting around here, I think. Actually, no, I think it's... Yeah, I don't know. It might be around here somewhere. It might not be. I don't know. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. It doesn't, doesn't really crank over any faster. It is what it is. What can you do about it? You want to see an old propane tank? That's not that old. It's older than me. That's how much older it is. I'm... I feel like I'm getting pretty damn old. <laughs> I know old people love to, love to hear that, but 92, holy. That's what, three years older than me, so freaking 29 years old. My brother would love to hear this say that that's old. <laughs> He's older than me. So, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. At least I know it's. I don't know. It's kind of a peace of mind to me that it's uh, got a newer battery in it. I guess got some. <sighs> That's disappointing. <laughs> That's no surprise though. I suppose the starter could be. Uh... It is cold in here. It's like forty some degrees in here. Trying to figure out these guys. Got tools somewhere, you know. They're always somewhere. So we can maybe load test this battery too. See what she does. But, uh, of course, it, right now that stinking gauge is reading high, which makes no real sense, right? And of course, that's going to be backwards. Why wouldn't it be backwards? Amazon freaking thing. So you can get a freaking reach? Of course not. Hold on a second again. Sorry. You know, bad camera work. What can you do about it? Okay. Oh yeah, I mean, oh yeah, we're at 13 volts-ish. Maybe. Don't drop it. Oh yeah, 13 volts. No big deal. Can't hit the button like that though. Oh, for 9.25, she's a little on the weaker side, but not the worst thing. So she might, I don't know. I don't want to turn it in as a core. I haven't, haven't put in any cores yet, so it's almost 40 bucks right there just in cores. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just not sold on this tester. It's freaking lying to me, I think. And there's no way that sucker is on 13 volts. How stupid. I mean, granted, even this thing was was showing less than 13. That thing still wanted to say 13. 
Yes, testing, uh, testing these things does suck. Side post, 12.08. So that's not 13. So that show wanted to show like 12.6. So I don't think so. The old tester's off a little bit, so you can imagine, I don't know, knock it down 100, 200, cold crank, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But it is 40 degrees in here, so it's supposed to be at its optimum cranking power, anything above 32 degrees. I got proof it's 40 some degrees in here, I bought a new thermometer, which, 42, 43, so, yeah, 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 this is what it is, at least the truck... It's got some cranking power again. Hopefully that'll last me another 10 years-ish. Depends. It's not like the truck gets used that much, so. Especially with diesel prices the way they've been. Although I did get a pretty decent price on fuel today. $2.59 a gallon, where uh, it was $3.10 a gallon two weeks ago. So, of course, I've got Gas Buddy app. If y'all don't have Gas Buddy, you need to get it because it is like... A lifesaver in uh, saving of the fuel money. Um, links to your bank account so acts like its own card, bank or bank card or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's got numbers on it. I'm not going to show you that. So anyway, um, the gas buddy, download it, get it for your car, whatever. You don't have to register your car with it or nothing. Um, you just select what grade of fuel you're getting. It'll show you deal alerts near you if you want to pay the text for 10 bucks a month. It's free, but if you want to pay the 10 bucks a month, you can save, I don't know, um, you, pretty, you pretty well can save your $10 plus. I'll just put it that way. Um, what? I just saved almost 6 bucks filling up today. 40 cents off a gallon is what I got today. So 40 cents times 23 or 24 gallons, whatever it was I got, 22 point something. So, you know, five, six bucks right there. That's pretty dang good. And I just filled that up. Same thing, five, six bucks. Actually, it was over six bucks. I think 623 I saved on that. And uh, you get extra cents off with your membership versus without you can get up to 25 cents a gallon off uh without a membership and with the membership you can get up to 40 cents per gallon off but that's only up to a certain gallon amount which i think is 50 gallons or something like that so it's not a whole lot but for me i can pretty well stay under that maybe pretty close pretty close i mean granted i just filled this up just filled this up not long ago uh and then filling the car up you know i can fill i could fill this up twice a month i could fill the car up twice a month so i'm a little over 60 gallons but uh, uh i guess it's not too bad i save my over ten dollars worth let's put it that way so it does seem to help save some extra cash, especially when you pull up to a pump for diesel and you see 310 and you go, holy shit. So then you whip out your gas buddy card and save six bucks. That certainly makes me feel a little bit better knowing I'm paying 259 a gallon, you know, type of thing. So instead of, you know, and the pump will reflect what the price of diesel is. It doesn't deduct on the pump what, the discount is giving you but you have to use the gas buddy card uh, you can submit a receipt but you have to have activated the rewards you, you'd have to download the app to see but you know uh it, for me it's been worth it i use it all the time i have one gas station here in town i go to for fuel there's one gas station in particular two gas stations but one mainly up in st cloud that has a very very good discount on fuel without gas buddy and i mean it beats gas buddy but here in town it is ridiculously expensive bar none period i mean they gouge you severely you go up to st cloud and you pay 5 10 15 cents less that's asinine i absolutely hate that i wish it was a national average across the u.s for fuel and not high overpriced bs like fuel this much 
reasonable, can't argue, that kind of thing. Instead of, you know, drive halfway across town and save 20 cents a gallon. That's just asinine. What the frick are you doing? <laughs> you know, I just hate that kind of BS. I want to know why they do that. Why gas station on one side of the street's 10 cents more than the other street, you know, than the other one, you know? It just makes no sense. But <sighs> that's where gas buddy comes in handy. And common sense. Everybody goes to Quick Trip to get fuel. I don't think anybody saves any money. I don't think anybody has any coupons for gas over at Quick Trip. At least when I'm over there and the person in front of me is paying for gas or not, just like, oh yeah, can I get a five cents off? Quick Trip is at least five cents more than the gas station across the street. Everybody goes to Quick Trip. Why? Why do you want to pay more? Because it's Quick Trip. Well, go fill up across the street, then come over and get your soda at Quick Trip. I mean, how dumb. <laughs> really? It's just dumb. Oh, I just can't stand watching people do that. It's like, why? What is so... I don't get it with Quick Trip. Oh. But that's one of them things. Everybody's got their store. Oh, Trader Joe's or something like that. You know, I've never even been to one, so I can't say much. But you know what I mean. It's the hype. It's Quick Trip. whoop de freaking do You pay more for gas there. So, anyway. So... I gotta load up the tools. I got a job to do tomorrow, so I'm gonna get everything loaded up and probably throw the batteries in the truck just in case I need them till I'm gonna be working on some tractors. So that'll be interesting. I won't be doing a video of that because they aren't mine. They, they're somebody's I don't hardly know, so I'm not gonna be filming their stuff because he's gonna be helping me with it. So or I'm gonna be helping him with it. I don't know which one yet, but. Uh, It'll be interesting, just some tractors he's getting ready to sell. So get them up and running and hopefully make a few bucks and we'll call her a day. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. God bless. Yeah, I just figured I'd mention for an update here. Spent mo more time than it was worth swapping the rims and tires back over to this truck. And then hopefully we'll be starting a new gig soon and... Uh, be able to get ourselves a set of rim and rims and tires for the uh, winter truck and that'll look pretty freaking sweet stay tuned for that but uh it'll probably be a minute down the road so hope you guys